A Drew's Choice game had me making the trip north. Now, a lot of schools have followed Bulls' lead of the Pink Arrow game, but two towns in Oceana County have turned their board of war rivalry into more than a football game, too. Shelby undefeated at 4-0, taking on Hart. The third straight year, these two teams have stood up in pink and neon green for their cancer awareness games. Wildest colors on a football field I've seen in a while. The Pirate defense was pretty in pink, wasting no time making a play on the home field. First place in scrimmage, Cody Plummer's pass, picked off by Jordan Truxton. One problem was Hart fumbled away his first snap of the game right after that, and the Tigers would turn that turnover into six. Plummer going to float a pass over the top to Luke Fappy in the end zone. Tigers up six to nothing. After Hart punted the ball away on a three and out, Shelby would come right back down the field and they would score once again. Mason Courtright on the handoff straight up the middle for the score. Shelby took a 13 nothing lead. And Hart's trouble continued in the first. They weren't looking pretty and pink anymore. Pirates going to lose the ball in their backfield. Chad Moore going to pick this up and he's going to score the easiest touchdown of his life. Thank you very much. Shelby's up 19-0. Hart was trying to make a game of this in the second quarter, though. They do it on the ground with Luke Rombach. He's going to find a hole and break this one through the middle for a touchdown. Pirates right back in the game, only down 19-6. Tigers will come right back, though. Nathan Lentz with the biggest play of this game. He's going to take a handoff off the left side. And, well, yeah, I had to put him on TV, sorry. This one goes for 74 yards and a touchdown. He howled me all game. 46-26 Tigers win. They're now alone atop the WFC in first place. I'm not trying to tell them it's a family show. All right, Morley Stanley.